Today I'm going to show you how to bottle and cap your beer. And what I have here is I have an ale that's fermented for about three weeks now, and I'm transferring it over to another container called my bottling bucket. The reason why you transfer it over is uh, you get a lot of sediment left behind in your primary fermenter. So to get rid of that, we actually transfer our finished beer into another container. Uh, when bottling your beers, you're going to need uh, your bottles, and how I sterilize these is I put them through the dishwasher with no detergent. Um, you're going to need your caps, and you're going to need your wind capper. When this is done transferring over, I'm going to add my bottling wand and start filling my bottles. Okay, we are now, now at a step where we're going to add our priming sugar. What I like to do is I like to take a half cup of water and warm it up in the microwave for about a minute and a half, and then I add my priming sugar. Um, it's usually about anywhere from four to five ounces. We like to use four ounces. We notice it gives a good carbonation to your beer. Once I dissolve that into uh, my half cup of water here, I'm going to stir it in the beer that's inside my bottling bucket. Now that I dissolved my uh, sugar in my half cup of warm water, I'm going to add it to my beer. And I'm going to stir that in real good here. And why you add sugar to your uh, beer before you bottle it is to let the uh, residual yeast that's left to uh, ferment, creating CO2, which carbonates your beer inside the bottle. We are now at the bottling stage, and I'm going to start filling my bottles. And what we use to do this is we attach a bottle wand to the end of your siphon. And what this bottle wand has is a little stopper on the very bottom of it. And when I put it in the bottle and apply pressure down, it's going to start filling the bottle from the bottom up. Once I want it to stop, I just uh, relieve the pressure and it stops filling the bottle. After we fill up all our bottles here, we're going to start capping them. Now that we've finished filling our beer bottles, we are going to cap them. And uh, what you want to do is you take your wing capper, place your cap onto the magnetic strip, place it on top of the beer bottle, and crip it down. Okay, I have now finished bottling and capping all my beer. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this sit at room temperature for two weeks. And after two weeks, it's going to carbonate inside the bottle for me. And after those two weeks, you can pop the lid and enjoy it. Um, hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial on how to fill and cap your bottles. Please visit our website, youcanbrewit.com, for more video tutorials. Cheers.